This is my take on replacing a ideal boiler sump. Really common problem. I've got three to do this week. This is the first of the three. You can see where it's got a hairline crack at the bottom. It's not massive, but that will just get worse and that is classed as at risk. And it will also rust your boiler, uh, which you'll see in a minute, all the condensate comes out. It's part of your flue system. It's, it will corrode through the bottom of your boiler and then you'll be buying a new boiler. So I was here replacing the sum, power off, Gas off. First we move the sump cover. You will get a new one of these with the new sump. Condensate trap out of the way. There you can see where the rust around the trap has started occurring from the condensate dripping down around it. Uh, gas valve disconnected, earth cable disconnected from the gas valve. Do the bottom nut you do get new washers with the sump so replace both washers on the bottom of the gas valve and on the top of the gas valve you do get one rubber washer with the sump on this boiler it was the two fiber washers that needed replacing on other models um, potentially you will change the rubber washer Loosen that securing nut, remove the gas valve. There you can see the washers, which I remove at a later date. They are a little bit stuck on. I gave them a little, uh, the seat in a little bit of a, um, a clean with um, a pad just to get any bits off because they did leave a little bit left on so yeah did that later on before I put the new washers on make sure you get, get a really good seal right two nut two sorry two bolts off the gas valve bracket disconnect the electrodes get the cable out of the way disconnect the spark generator and we can leave that as it is now. We can just pull, pull that out of the way. Yeah, as long as we can get to the sump now, which we can. So that's the sump. You've got three lugs on the front, three lugs on the back with the black clips. Just loosening the heat exchanger now because getting the sump off the bottom of the heat exchanger is very tight at the back. So a little bit of leeway by loosening them two, them two bolts uh, will just give, give you enough room to, to get the sump off. Because we've not drained the boiler down, we've not disconnected anything like the pump or anything. So we're, this is all done with a boiler full of pressure. So we've managed to get the front of the sump off. You see them three clips. Now we've, well, let's just get the yeah, pump disconnected so that wire's out of the way, that cable that's out of the way. Put a bit of tissue over the gas part there so we're not getting any bits into the gas. And just be careful not to bend the gas valve in this process. It's very easy to, to do that. You've literally got to snap the plastic. 
thick clips off the lugs in the back of the heat exchanger. So a bit of brute force, the sump's out. Right, you can even see where one clip is where it snapped off, which was the intention. So just make sure you don't leave any behind. I've got a bit of OCD. I do like to get the Hoover out on jobs. And get a bit of that rust up. silicon grease to, to aid the new sump as it's quite tight getting this on as you can see them three clips at the back you've got to clip them on the back of the heat exchanger there's not a lot of room to just slide them up and get them clipped on so I've even put a bit of silicon grease on the clips there just to help them slip up over the lugs. Again, a bit of brute force here. Be careful not to put pressure on that gas pipe, which is just to the left of my hand there. I'm kind of, I'm kind of resting my hand on it there. So just be careful. So I've got the some on at the back first. I need to get them clipped on at the back with a, with a, with a bit of brute force. That's the front clips, which is which are quite easy once you've got the back on. Then if you Yeah, if you see the top of the sump, that line, as it runs around the bottom of the heat exchanger, you can you can feel around the back. You get your hand around the back, you can feel whether it's it's flush and tight to the bottom of the heat exchanger. Because you don't want to leave it with a clip that's not fully secure. So that, that feels pretty good to me. You also run the analyzer round the back of the sump once you finish and find the boiler back up. Make sure you're not getting any products of combustion coming out and then you know it's not been clipped on properly. Right, what were we doing there? We was this, uh, connecting the um, spark generator. Now we're putting the gas valve back on. New washers. As I said before, I've cleaned the seating of the copper. So we've got a nice seal there on the top and the bottom. both nuts on first, top and bottom, and once they're on then think about securing the gas valve to the to the bracket. Good idea to hold the gas valve now when final finally tightening it up just to get obviously I'm holding my phone but after I do I do hold the gas valve and, and tighten them up a bit more connect the electrodes back
add it to the gas valve. Earth cable. Right, just having a little look. Right, we need uh, the pump connecting back. The little cast, the little um, clip is on the back of it. You can feel it clip on. A little latch. Right, we didn't disconnect anything there. We're all connected back there with electrodes, the spark generator, the gas valve, the earth, the gas valve secure, tight, top and bottom and the pump is connected we will check with a gas sniffer after that to make sure there's no um any gas leaking from any of them joins any of them connections bit of silicon grease on the flu manifold i have not changed the flu manifold on this job some people change the sump in the flu manifold at the same time i've inspected the flu manifold at it's um, it's absolutely fine, so I've not changed it. Sometimes, as you can see, that little dot there, sometimes you, you, you'll you see the white crust coming out of it, in, indicating it, it's it's damaged and um, condensate's coming out of it, and then you, then you need to replace it. So tighten the sump cover back up. All looking good. Actually, well, what have I forgotten? Tighten the two, two bolts, securing the heat exchanger. So don't forget that, that would have been, would have been a schoolboy ever forgetting them too. Probably would have heard a bit of a vibration when the boiler fired up. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.